Today I'm going to set up an Nginx Proxy Manager. This is going to act as a single entry point for all the services I set up in the future and it's going to allow me to have secure access with SSL encryption. If you're interested in seeing how I set this up, come check it out. Alright, so if you've been following my videos so far, there's something I have to fix first, and that is the permissions on my uh, NFS share through Open Media. Book. So I'm going to sign in here, and I have to go to Services, NFS, Shares. Uh, and I need to edit this one because I want to have the option on here no root squash and this will allow me to change the uh, file permissions on the shared file system so we're going to do that and then apply yes and then I'm going to switch over to the terminal and from here, I'm going to cd into my MNT directory, and I'm going to sudo chone hardwood home lab, hardwood home lab, the apps directory that I created in here. And if I look at this, it is owned by me. So I'm going to cd into that directory now, and I can start uh, creating my file structure in here that I want for my Docker containers. And basically what I'm going to do is create a directory for every container that I run up. So in this case I'm going to create a directory for npm for Nginx Proxy Manager. And I'm going to cd into that directory. And in here I want to create a compose.yaml file. And this is how I'm going to set it up so that my Docker containers will start. So from here, I'm going to move back to my uh, browser, and I'm going to go to the Nginx Proxy Manager site, and where they see a click Get Started here, there is Setup Instructions on the left, and this right here is a Docker Compose file. So I'm just going to copy that, and we're going to paste that into this YAML file. And this is basically all you need. What, I don't need this version line, so I'm just going to delete that. But it, what it's going to do, it's going to create, and I'm going to change this to npm, npm, because that's what the Docker container is going to be called. Um, it's going to pull the latest image of Nginx Proxy Manager. It'll have a restart policy of unless stopped, which means if there's any reason the system is rebooted, on startup, it's going to start up this container uh, unless we actually tell it to stop the container. It's going to expose port 80, port 443, and port 81. And the 80 and 443 are the uh, website uh, address ports, and 81 is where the admin web port is going to be, as it says there. And then it's going to create a uh, directory inside the npm directory that's called data, another one called let's encrypt, and that's where it's going to store all the information for this uh, container. So I'm going to save this, I'll write it and quit, and we will go docker compose up dash d, and that dash d flag is important because that's going to allow the container to run in the background without us having to uh, interact with it. So I'm going to start this up. It's going to download the image and then it's going to start it up. Okay, so that Docker container is now running and we can access it through the web on that port 81. So I'm going to switch back over to my browser here. I'm going to start a new tab. Okay, so I logged in to the IP address on port 81 and since this is our first time logging in, if we go back to the NPM website, you'll see there's a default administrator user. 
And it's at admin at example.com with the password of change me. So we're going to go to that. You can tell I've had to do this before. Um, I had technical issues the first time I recorded this. So I will sign in here. No, I don't need to save this password. And you're going to have to uh, change the user information. I'm going to call this hardwood. Home lab. And I'm going to give this a phony email address. And we're going to save. Oh, I'm going to have to change the password here too. So I'm going to have to change the password. This was change me, and then I'll put in my new password in here. Save. So you can see it created our new user, and we're basically ready to go. Anyway, so we go to the uh, proxy host if we have a new service that we want to share. But the whole reason I'm using this Nginx uh, proxy manager is for SSL certificates. And in order to use an SSL certificate, because I'm behind my firewall, I'm going to have to use a DNS challenge. I use Cloudflare, so I will select that here. And you'll have to sign into Cloudflare if that's what you're using, create an API token, and then replace the string after the equals sign and paste it in there. Uh, I'm also going to use a asterisk here for a wildcard certificate and make sure you use a legitimate email and I will go grab my API key I'll paste it in here I, I'll agree to the terms of service and then we'll create a wildcard certificate All right, that took a few seconds, but I've got my wildcard certificate now, and I'm ready to expose any of my services through this proxy manager. In order to test it out, I want to create a new container. So I'm going to switch back over to my terminal. And in here, I'm going to create a new directory uh, called Nginx. Uh, CD in there. And in here, I'll create another compose file just to test this out. Okay, so I'm just going to use this uh, simple Nginx template. It's going to expose port 8080, and it's just going to serve the stock Nginx website. So I'm going to say docker compose up dash D. And so that has created a simple website. Okay, to test this Nginx web server, I want to expose it through proxy hosts. And I'm going to add this as a new host. And I'm going to call this web.hardwoodhomelab.com. Just like that. It's going to use the same IP address as the Docker host. So I'm going to add that in here. And it's going to use port 8080. And in order to make this, secure I'm going to select the hardwood home lab wildcard certificate and I'm going to force SSL and all that's going to do is it's going to take any unencrypted traffic and direct it over to the encrypted side so we're going to click save on that so as you can see here nginx proxy manager whenever it receives a web request from this URL it's going to go to this destination and serve it through an encrypted connection so I'm going to create a DNS entry for this domain and I'm going to test it on a new tab. Okay, so I created a DNS entry, I opened a new tab and I went to web.hardwoodhomelab.com and you, as you can see the basic website was served to us and more importantly it says our connection is secure because we've got an encrypted connection with a trusted SSL certificate. Since I'm not going to leave that Nginx container running, I'm going to get rid of this host. And 
and then I'm going to switch over to my terminal. I'm going to docker compose down, which is going to stop that nginx container. And I'm going to change directories back to apps, and I'm going to remove that nginx directory. And in order to clean things up, I'm going to remove the images that I downloaded for Nginx. So I'm going to go docker system prune a, and that will clean up anything that we're not using anymore. So that's how I'm going to leave it for today. I hope this was informative. Thanks for watching.